Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card Fight Vanguard Festival Collection Special Series 3 box opening. Picked up two boxes of the Festival Collection to open for you all today. It's a pretty awesome set with it being entirely a reprint set for Card Fight Vanguard standard format. Reprinting all of the starters available to us with the new updated text for the quick orders, as well as a bunch of reprints on, you know, just, you know, sought after cards for all the different clans and also reprinting all the different uh, draw trigger sentinels for everyone to have easier access for in this booster set. Uh, actually, uh, took a little longer to get these. There was a delay with the shipment, but glad they finally came in. Can't wait to see what pools I can get from from this set especially since I saw that it, um, the draw trigger sentinels all have the triple rare foiling it looks like with the pools making for a definitely much prettier uh, sentinel compared to anything else we've gotten so far but I got two boxes to open up so let's go ahead and get started we'll start off with uh, it doesn't really matter I'll just pick one at random and we'll open up the box hopefully pretty easily and without damaging any of the boxes there as I destroy the box hopefully I'll have a little more luck with the second one but let's go ahead and see. It looks like all of the booster packs, it looks like they almost forgot to color in the boxes when they made these packs. And they did the same for the actual packs in the booster set as well. I think it's because these were originally, I believe, going to be a special promotion to pick up at you know regional events. But with the regionals never being a thing, they just made it a direct to sale item. But four cards per pack, I believe one card will be the Foil Sentinel. The other card will be the rare reprint, and then the last two will be two reprinted um, Forerunner starters as well. I might have said Sentinels for starters beforehand, but what I meant to say was starters being all reprinted with the Quick Shield ticket effect on the card. But starting off, we have a Battle Riser, really, really awesome uh, starter. Can't wait to see if I can get a good amount of different ones with all these different packs as well. We have a Wyvern Kid, uh, Ragia. So yeah, they've given us uh, basically all the starters that were available. So there'll be multiple Kagero, Nova Grappler, Royal Paladin starters, you name it, in this set that don't have the upgraded text yet. So it's pretty cool for sure. And right off the bat, we have an awesome reprint, a Skull Witch Nemain with the rare foiling. So, you know, foiling doesn't matter. It's what's usable as a card and you can still use this just like the foil version so people who want the, re the reprints will get the reprints very very nice and our first sentinel with the triple rare foiling is stealth beast mijin gakur very very nice can't wait just to see what i pull sentinel wise as well there are some pretty big sought after ones but these rares are pretty hilarious as well just as easier cards to get for the reprints and i'm happy with that first one too because that's definitely one that's pretty up there i would say in value compared to a lot of other ones in the set these definitely do feel bubbled in a way, uh, just, you know, with uh, there being, I'm guessing, more room in the packs, almost being like a promo pack. You can see there are 24 types of double rares, 48 types of rares, and 60 types of commons being the starters you pull from the set. We have a Captain a Night Kid for our first starter. Was this the original starter? I didn't think that... No, I think this one came out as a different starter for the deck. Yeah, we had a Guiding Zombie, I believe. We have Blackboard Parrot for our next uh, starter. Awesome. Our reprint this time is Underlay Celestial Hesedile. Now, I believe some of these might just be updated text. I don't really know why they gave us Underlay Celestial Hesedile as a reprint. It was already a rare, I believe, when it originally came out, so I'm not sure why we got another one for this. But what's our Sentinel? We have a Paralyzed Madonna. We keep getting more and more of the Mega Colony support, so this was definitely a good uh, reprint for sure. And like I said, that triple rare foiling on these cards is beautiful. Just how they look, uh, such a compliment and upgrade to what they originally were. So is it 10 packs per box? I see eight packs left, so yeah. I might have missed that off the original one as well. Let's see how we do with this pack. I want to try and get as many different starters as I can. We have an Entertain Messenger for Pale Moon. And we've got uh, Barrett Draco Kid for Narukami. Awesome. So yeah, so far, different. No doubles on any of the stars. Our rare is Steam Mechanic Naboo. Another card that was already a rare, but still, this card was, uh, you know, creeping up in price just because it was definitely needed for a lot of the generic uh, Gear Chronicle decks out there, especially with Lost Legends still being a thing. And our Sentinel is Cheer Girl Maryland. So we haven't pulled any of the main uh, clan 
uh, Sentinels yet, but see, these are awesome looking. I'm gonna say it every pack almost, because hopefully I can pull different ones with each booster set as well. I only picked up two boxes, because it's not like a set where I'm building anything. It's just nice to have some reprints from all these. We have Bermuda Triangle Cadet Riviere, which I'm still working on Riviere, so having the updated starter for that is definitely nice for sure. We have Aiming for the Stars, Artemis, for our next starter. Our rare is Dandy Guy Romario, which was originally a triple rare, just like Nemain, so that's a pretty good reprint, reprint to get for sure. And our Sentinel this time around is Weather Forecaster Miss Mist. Awesome. Now that, I would say it was Misaki starter, so that's definitely a main Sentinel for sure. Very, very nice. I would love to see a Bermuda Triangle Sentinel, just to pull one, because that one is definitely one that's up there in value. I think the Gold Paladin one might be the most expensive from this set. I might be wrong. I don't think it's the Shadow Paladin one. I don't think it's Kagero. Okay, Broccolini Musketeer Kira for our next starter. Mas uh, I was about to say Massage. Masago Stealth Rogue Goimon. Nice. Our rare is Knight of Truth Gordon. So Gordon also was a triple rare. So did they either just go, you know, rare reprint coming? I think there are a couple new cards for the reprints also, including Great Nature getting one as well. But Gordon's still awesome. It's like you can almost see the art more clearly on these rares. It's not as foily, but you can just make out more of like Gordon's actual armor because it's not being blocked by the shininess. And our starter is Wyvern Guard Gold. Awesome. Very nice uh, Sentinel as well, keeping different with everything we've pulled so far, being halfway through the first box as well. Let's keep on going, see if we can pull some other noteworthy stuff. We have a Neon Messiah for the next starter. Updated text, quick shield. I might have said quick order, but I just believe the that's what they're uh, you know usually called. Uh, Crimson Lion Cub, Criff for Gold Paladin. Our rare is Stealth Beast Million Rat. Now, yes, so this I thought maybe was an updated uh, text, maybe? I, ha I don't have the card on me right now to compare if this is just an updated text or why they chose some of these for reprints. And we have an Emerald Shield Pascal. Awesome. That is a good uh, Sentinel as well. Like, some Sentinels are just very, very low in value. Like, I believe the Tachikaze one is just low in value. Might go up just with, you know, Tachikaze support coming out around the corner, but just some of them compared to other ones. Okay, here's the second Nova Grappler starter we had from the beginning. Tap the Hyper, remade. Uh, first Aid Celestial, Peniel. Our rare is Fruit Basket Elf. Yeah, like this one might just had an updated text because of the whole token mechanic being a brand new thing, but still very cool. And we have Flowers in Vacuum Cosmo Reed. Now that I know is a good Sentinel to pull for sure. I actually have the SP version of this, which I definitely can say this triple rare foiling that they gave this card, it says double rare on the card, don't get me wrong, but you know, we haven't had double rares with this kind of shatter foiling for a while. So I'm counting it as triple rare foiling or at least old fashioned, uh, uh, you know, double rare foiling. All right, we got three packs left from the first box. I'm just enjoying myself opening these just so I can see all the different foil as I also punch those last two packs. We have uh, Fina. So yeah, they even gave us some of the different Bermuda Triangle starters also uh, for their arts. Little Hero, uh, Drago Kid for Dimension Police. Our rare is Emblem Master. Now this I actually wanted to pull. I don't own any Emblem Masters. So just to have some rare copies, I thought would be pretty nice also. And our foil is Goddess of Self-Sacrifice Kushinada. Now, another ones I saw that were pretty low value are just ones that have been reprinted in trial decks after their initial release. And this is one of them. But still, the triple rare foiling, double rare, or old retro style. I'm gonna keep saying triple rare foiling. Old retro style foiling is still very nice on this card for sure. Definitely going to make a lot of people who have either the common versions from the trial deck or the original double rare ones want to upgrade for sure. All right, Blue Wave Recruit, Costi. And Crisis Revenger, Fritz. Nice. I, yeah, Full Bow's got to be in here too. That's the one I want to pull. We have uh, Miko of Elegance, Fuminos. Yeah, some of these are just crazy. I think this was even a common. It might not have been a rare, but just a common reprint. And we have a Steam Guard Castilia. So yeah, this is another one. One that, you know, we already pulled. I don't know if the value's that big. It might be just because it's Gear Chronicle, but still an awesome pull at that. All right, last pack from the first box. Let's see how we finish up the first one. Then we got one more to open up. 
So we have Guiding Zombie. So yeah, this was the first starter we got for Grand Blue. And then we have God Hawk Ichibiyoshi. Nice, because I have Tsukiyomi. Is glad I pulled that one. Our, oops, I spoiled the foil first. We're going to go to the rare last, but Gustin. Now we have Grand Blue and Pale Moon support coming out. So pulling that and Hades Hypnotist would definitely be a nice one for sure. And let's see what our rare is. And that is a Silverthorn Acrobat Leonor. Is this, I think this card originally already came out. It, like I said, we got some new cards in the set, but I don't think this is one of them. Still an awesome looking art for sure. Putting it with the rare pile. And we've got all of our different Sentinels so far, which, you know, honestly, some Sentinels might be going in the trade binder just for, you know, people who want updated texts of cards. They can actually be honestly tradable cards. All right, the last box. This one opened up a lot easier. And it's the non-damage box. You can see the first one had like the kind of dent in the corner. So this will be the box I more than likely want to keep as well. So I'll move this one out of the way and we'll open up this one. It's gonna take all the packs out. Yeah, I'm so weirded out. They just must not have bothered because they knew people were gonna buy them at like the regional events and they must have already been printed and just didn't bother filling them in. I mean, we know what the color schemes are for Shin, Chrono, and Aichi, but still very, very strange for sure. Let's see how we do with my last box. All right, so we're so starting off, we're already getting a different starter. I wanna keep it different. I've memorized the ones we've pulled already, but we didn't pull Inelia. Have we pulled, nope, Arbro's Dragon is also a new one. What about our rare? Oh, that is an awesome rare. Uh, just a great reprint, Sable Dragon New. This card was so expensive for Kagero, but I'm glad that they finally just made it more affordable for people as well. And we've got Hades Hypnotist. I spoke of this card and we pulled it. That's great, that's an awesome pull. I might even just pick up more of this set. This is just a good reprint set to have for trade bait. If you're looking to pick up trade bait for Vanguard, this is definitely your set to go for. All right, we have a pure gifter Elish, so another Bermuda Triangle starter. Uh, okay, so we're already we're getting some doubles here, but it's okay because you get at least you know 20 different starters per pack. Neon Messiah, and it's a Link Joker one, so that's a pretty good starter to want to pull up. Oh, and I keep spoiling myself with that back card, but we have a Doreen the Thruster. I spoiled it was a draw trigger, but I kind of have a feeling I know what it is, and that is Steam Guard Castilia. So it's our first double for a, a Sentinel, but still that is an awesome looking triple rare foiling. They even gave us. I'm now remembering they gave us this foiling for Gear Chronicle with the promo packs for these. So this is the exact same foiling almost as that one, but I think it's just, you know, a different set number at the bottom since that one would be a promo set. All right, we got eight packs remaining, and I've noticed that these packs do seem a lot tougher, but I'm gonna try my best not to damage any of the cards. We have another double on starters, Captain Night Kid. I'm just gonna try and move them this way. There we go, that's the one I wanted to see, the full bow starter for Shadow Paladins. That's one that's going in my Shadow Paladin deck for sure. And our next reprint is Battle Maiden Sahohime. So this is another one I think was in the trial deck. I might be wrong, but still good reprint for sure. It's generic support for Genesis. And we have Diamond Ace. This looks so much better than the um, double rare foiling of this card. The original one, had the awesome art for the double rare draw Sentinel, but this foiling does it so much better because there was a lot of empty space in the art as well. So I really do like what they did with that one. All right, am I down to seven packs? I can remember what starters I pulled, but I can never remember how many packs I have left. All right, we've pulled Costi already. Here's another Link Joker one, Micro Hole, Draco Kid. All right, Machining Mantis, another good one uh, for the reprints. It was an expensive triple rare at that point. I think like $14 it reached once. And we've got Maiden of Blossom Rain, another one of the trial deck reprints, but still just like the promos, having the same type of foiling, but still if you you know only had a few of those and you're looking for a matching foiling playset, that's definitely your one to go for, for sure. All right, we've got Caro for our next starter for Bermuda. Uh, Aeroid Resh for Angel Feather our first binoculus tiger i i just get more excited when i pull the ones that were initially triple rare now in rare form i don't really like getting a rare that was originally a rare but binoculus tiger i know is a triple rare so that's awesome and there we go wyvern guard bari i definitely wanted to pull this one so that was an awesome one for sure if i can get some more copies of this i'll definitely update my kagero but i'm also hoping to build you know the cross and also uh blade master so having separate sentinels if i don't want to run the critical trigger ones just might be better as well Okay, we have an Entertain Messenger. 
uh, Whiteness Rabbit for Oracle Think Tank, one of their other stars. I hope I can pull those NG Mages with my last packs also. Uh, Purple Trapezus, another awesome triple rare for Pale Moon, remade into a rare. And we have March Rabbit of Nightmare Land. So we're getting different Sentinels, a good amount of different Sentinels. That's what I like to see. But can we pull the Gold Paladin one? That's what I want to see. Like I said, I think that one's the most expensive of them. But let's find out for sure. All right, we got another of the Bermuda starters, Serena. And we've got another Battle Riser, so it's another double of that. We've got Player of the Holy Bow, Vivian. Now this I don't understand. There's so many different potential Gold Paladin cards they could have reprinted, but my guess is they're not really doing anything Grade 3 wise, and Vivian just seemed more generic, just like Dindrain that is also in this set. And we have Flash Shield Assault. So have I pulled all, I think I pulled all, no, I didn't pull Twin Order yet. I didn't pull all of Q4's original starters, but I got Aichi's, Kai's, and Misaki's so far. And three packs left. And Shion, guess, I guess you could technically say, because he also plays Royal Paladin. But Aichi always comes first. All right, Dimensional Robo, Goyusha. And Bart Golf for Royal Paladin. Our rare is... Okay, this... Now this one is it. This is the most expensive card in the set. I don't think this was originally a reprint. This came as a first release for the uh, English. And that is Stealth Rogue of Indignation, Mayo Maru. Murakumo. Very, very nice. That's an awesome pull for sure. I completely forgot about this card. But as soon as I saw it, I remembered that he is the most expensive card in the set. And there we go. That was an awesome pack. Pulling the Bermuda Triangle Sentinel and the Murakumo uh, rare in this pack. That was a go-to pack for sure, value-wise for sure. Awesome. I'll take it. And two packs remaining. Let's see. I got the Bermuda Triangle, so I'm happy with the results that we got from these packs. All right. Barrett Draco Kid again. Uh, Evil Stealth Dragon. Ushu <laughs> Shitsumari. Sorry if I butchered that. We have Wheel Assault, another triple rare from Aqua Force this time. We made into a rare. And our second Paralyzed Madonna. Is that our... No, I think we've gotten some of the draw triggers uh, already uh, in this. Yeah, the Gear Chronicle one. What am I saying? And last pack. Let's see how we finish this off. I just had fun opening this. Like I, said, I definitely might consider picking up some more of these. We have Mech uh, Trainer and Spring Breeze Messenger for Gold Paladin. And we've got Stealth Dragon, Magatsu Gale for Nubatama. And our last Sentinel is a different one, at least, and that is Cable Sheep. Awesome. These were really, really nice looking cards. Even the reprints were some awesome ones that we were able to pull. But that is it for the video. I hope you all enjoy. We definitely got plenty of starters, which is going to be crazy having starters in my next trade binder. But also all these awesome Sentinels to go through as well, along with all the reprinted rare cards. Can't wait for the binder update and just to go through all these. But until then, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.